I'm really nervous. Wait. <laughs> Uh-oh. The damage is done. <laughs> I don't want to cut this out. This is... Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we're uh, back! Vulnerability. Okay. Break out the fat TV. The DVD player that can't fast forward in your scratch copy your favorite movie. Because this is Let's Talk About, an ongoing series of podcasts where we watch and discuss nostalgic movies from our childhoods. Today we're talking about Madagascar. <laughs> Next week we're talking about... uh, What was it? Oh, Surf's Up. A group of animals who have spent their all their lives in a New York zoo end up in the jungles of Madagascar and must adjust to the living world. This movie was released in 2005. Welcome to the first oh, yeah. episode. <laughs> that's not Christmas. <laughs> we're here with um, finally. We're here with the fourth person. That's not my little brother this time. Speak up for yourself, for God's sake, man. Hello. <laughs> I'm yeah, cool. well, yeah, I've known him for like four years. So, and I'm like this is like I... this is like one of our few voice calls that we've ever done. So yeah, so yeah, this is your first episode. If you didn't watch the whole Christmas twenty five episode pilot thing, um, we basically talk about movies, and this is going to be the start of something special, for sure. I bet I will. Or horrible. Probably horrible. Or special or pro- yeah, probably. <laughs> Um, so what is your guys' experience with Madagascar? Let's actually uh, try to talk about the movie more than we do in the Christmas movie. So. Though I used to always mix up the name Madagascar with Madam Hatchet from the movie Robots. Do you guys remember the ads oh. with, um, Ben Stiller, who voices Alex? He's like, he's like, he's like, hi there. Uh, this is, like, we're talking about the new movie, Madagascar. And he's like, oh, like, next to, like, some crates or something. Oh, wait, that was a sequel. No, he was in the jungle. The when, it was called the, when it was called The Crate Escape. Yeah, that, that was the sequel. I'm, I'm thinking of the first one. But he's, like, he's like a globe, and he's like, this is Madagascar. It's pretty small. It's not actually purple in real life. But... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why that's my voice for him, but that's, that's just what Ben Stiller sounds you like to know, me. You want to know mine? Mine's like more nostalgic than yours guys would probably ever be. This was my first, it was my first ever DVD. Wow. We got it, we got it from our aunt. And we were just, we like opening the DVD player for the first time, put the disc in upside down, just errors. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it was, we didn't get a DVD player until 2006. Well, to be fair, wow. that's when DVD players were Not starting to become like a, like a mainstream thing, kind of. Well, we didn't know it was a DVD player. We didn't know PS2 was a DVD player until like what? 2009. <laughs> My mom only bought a PS2 just because it was the cheapest DVD player at the time. I guess we were only play for time, ten bucks. The only game I had to my name was Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. You guys remember when um when Blu-ray players were like really expensive? I ha- I used are. to hate Blu-ray. I, I, I used to ha- I hated the Blu-ray ads, on, like Warner Brothers movies. Make it like, blue. <laughs> Don't you just love the Blu-ray ads where it's like, this is what TV looks like, and this is what Blu-ray looks like on a DVD. <laughs> I love, I love the one, I, I love the one on um the the VHS of X-Men. It's like this is DVD. It's literally like you can't even tell a difference in quality because it's on a VHS. That's <laughs> amazing. I remember. Yeah, like, I remember... What were they thinking? I mean, if you're you watching it on the, um... the VHS then. It's still VHS quality. I, I, I love, I love when they, when uh, unlike the Blu-ray ones where they have like the screen wipe of, of like, it's like, it's like, um, ten, ten times the image quality. It's like it has that screen wipe. Nothing changes. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys I remember, remember the Disney, Disney ads? Make it blue. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> Can you get out of my head? I, Wouldn't I just, it be I'm better a... if it just blew away? Oh, God. Don't let nostalgia. it happen again. Giving me nostalgia again, dude. That's what this podcast the is all about, is so you know? Blue. <gasps> you did it! You finally did it! <laughs> okay, let's you did be honest. It blue. <laughs> you crazy son of a gun, you let's did be, it. Let's be honest with ourselves, guys. We're never gonna top the last episode. Oh, the Christmas one? The uh, Rudolph one? We're yeah. never topping it. You it's never impossible. know, you never know. Except for the monologue where I stuttered because I was at the end of it. I was trying to read off something. I kept on stuttering with my words. I'm like, "Who you doing?" Is amazing. Silence. 
hey, worst comes to worst, we could just turn this podcast into an ARG. I, I'm afraid to ask what that is. There, there like, is I, nothing. I've heard of it, but in the, there is, I've heard of it. There but... is nothing. It, it for us in the afterlife. I, I've heard of it, but like, what is it? I'm gonna actually look it up. It's an anyway, alternate we're reality happy. game. Something we're happy. That, it doesn't seem like a game at first, but you know something's up. There's no way oh. people are acting this way. Oh, choose your own adventure? No, no, no. no. Oh. It's we like, should do that, that'd be fun. It's not a game, <laughs> but it is a game, if that makes any sense. It's kind of yeah, like yeah, yeah. an online you, you. scavenger hunt. Oh! Okay, I know what it is now. Okay, I know what an ARG is. Okay, I knew clues, it sounded familiar. Subtle I know, nuances. I know, what you're saying. I know what you're saying now. Okay, I know what it is now, yeah. Like, I know this isn't an ARG, but like, the Bill Cipher hunt, like that Where is the it? statue. Um, just realize- okay, uh, I was guess, an ARG! Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm not a gamer. Gamer, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not a says, the one who, says the one who was playing Smash all day yesterday. Alright, I got it for Christmas, okay? No. Also, wait, I want to clarify something real quick. I want to clarify something real quick. Um, these are being recorded way in advance. Like, this is the 28th of December. This is coming out on January 1st. We're going to be recording these. These are coming out every week on, a fr- on Fridays, every week, hopefully. <laughs> and so these are going to be re- recorded way in advance. So if we so we might not acknowledge some things depending on this, depending on when it's recorded. So neat. Yeah, we're just like Rebel Taxi. No, we're not. We're I, never compared to Rebel Taxi. Let's be honest here. True. I I would love to do let's talk about but live, but I feel like that'd be a complete disaster without some major testing. You mean you mean, you mean live talk about? Let's talk about live. We'd have to pay no, for like it's, Zoom it's, or something for that. Let's we can, use Zoom. We can. I can. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's streaming. Th- anyway, we'll discuss this. We'll discuss this later. We gotta talk about Madagascar or, or finish this intro because we gotta go watch the movie. Oh yeah. Anybody say something? Uh. This summer. Stop! Underpants. Four zoo animals. It's a transfer. Visiting new places. Danger! It's all over me! Making new friends. Hi there! Oh, gee! <laughs> and having the wildest adventure. We're gonna face extreme peril. On Earth. Hey, little ducky. Just where are you giants from? We're from New York. All hail the New York Giants! <laughs> Madagascar. Rated PG. Starts May 27th. And we're back. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? What? I'm just he is biting here. my Bide. butt. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I was sorry, I was hungry, and I thought it was a cheeseburger. I like burger. <laughs> <laughs> ah, such a good movie. It can juice just like one. Anyway, yeah, it was a good movie. So <laughs> I've seen it so many times. Fosa are tiny. Like, yeah. Have you ever seen a fosa? Why are they so big? Why are they big in the movie? That doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, anyway. <laughs> so I'm texting someone. Wait, oh, what are we talking about? Madagascar, yeah. yeah good <laughs> yes, movie. That one. Good, good movie. Good, good movie. Yeah, oh, yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. Good movie. <laughs> I remember because of that movie, every, <laughs> like, every time we had to do, like, a pep rally or a school assembly, they'd always be playing Move It, Move It. Yep. <laughs> Except it wouldn't be the one from the movie. It would be the original, I like to Move It, Move It. As a kid, I never knew that I like to Move It, Move It came from this movie. <laughs> Or not? Wait, I know. I thought it came from this movie. Is what I mean. Same. Ah. Uh, <laughs> awkward sounds. You ever just get mad at gas cars? What? Mad at gas car? I like gas car. Mad at gas cars. That's oh. the movie we're watching. Oh, that's a big comedy right there, boys. 
big, 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 the big comedy. There are a lot of memes of this movie thanks to the penguins. <laughs> Who could resist this? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there the, uh... They had a game on the Kinect based on the cartoon where it was a based on the uh, Dr. Blowhole special. The, oh, oh. You know, he was a cyborg <laughs> whale. <laughs> he was a cyborg whale named Dr. Blowhole. It's just losing it. I remember Nickelodeon would often air ads like saying, Feature the penguins battle their worst enemy, <laughs> penguins, Dr. Blowhole. <laughs> Are you right? Why? Why? Help me. I'm not kidding. It was an actual character. I think, and I think Marlene Whoa. was in that episode too. Oh my god. Like, okay. she was in the game, and there was, like, this weird point where you had to answer <sighs> Madagascar trivia. Uh, <laughs> All right, Kate, what's happening? I don't know why, I don't know why the name Dr. Blowhole made me laugh so hard. Um, Dr. Blowhole. Oh my god, my head is... Dr. Dr. Blowhole. Thank oh, you, Inns. I'm dying. Don't die. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm too late. I'm, I'm lightheaded. I'm gonna die. Oh, he dead. Yeah. Um, speaking of the penguin, he can no longer move it, move it. <laughs> <coughs> well, now that my horrific event of terror is over, um, I remember on the Madagascar Two DVD, like you can get like a combo set with a DVD, right? And have you ever noticed how the DVD is just half of the uh, that, that Jeep? Well, there was a DVD that came with it of the other half of the Jeep, and it was the penguins, right? And it was a it was it had an episode of the TV show on it. When the TV show was wow, coming out from Madagascar too, yeah, it was cool. I used to watch that show a lot. Oh yeah, I love. I remember it. when it, I remember when it premiered. It was after the Kids Choice Awards, and I remember the Penguins. Dude, in the limo. dude, I remember that <laughs> night. And they were like, "All yeah. right, boys." It was like Skippy's like, "All right, boys, we have a big show to do tonight. It's a pi- the premiere of our new show on Nickelodeon or whatever." I don't know what yeah, said. yeah, it was like it was like around six o'clock at night. Uh... It was dark where I was because the Kids' Choice Awards, I think, were in winter. No, they're in March. I remember because me and my sister were out playing in the dirt or whatever, and we're like, uh, oh, out in the dirt. Oh crap, the cartoon's about to start. So we had to hurry back to my dad's place because we were spending the night at our dad's. We hurried up, turned on that big CRT to Nickelodeon, and it was like, and now the world premiere of Penguins of Madagascar. Too bad that we show's that, not canon. We saw that theme song and it was the coolest thing. The show's non canon. But how is King Julian in New York then? Um Okay. In the second in the second movie, right? They're like <laughs> Gonna, they're about to like leave, right? To go to um, back to New York or whatever or something, and because they didn't, they didn't know what was gonna happen in the third movie because the third movie hadn't hadn't came out yet. So they just, I guess they just assumed that's how King Julian would be there at, back at the zoo. Yeah, but how come like Gloria and Marty and stuff weren't there? I don't know. Alex was in an episode. I don't know if I said that in the intro. It was his ghost I, I know I said it to you at some point. Alex would appeared in like a vision. He's like, hey, uh, uh, d- 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 the skipper, it's me. You, I don't know why my Ben Stiller voice changed, but it did. So. <laughs> why, is your, why is your Ben Stiller, Rocco? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Ben Stiller. <laughs> hey, it's me, Ben Stiller. No, that was terrible. Actually, it's, a, it's kind of a bit like uh, a little bit of this, but not as nasally. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Your voice doesn't even change. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm. I, I'm really Gindy, trying to do Alex. Gindy, you're amazing. Gindy, you're the heart and soul of this podcast. He Just really is. Smile He's like, and wave, boys. Gindy's our wholesome good boy. It's true. true. You know how like movie production credits have like goodest boy? That's Gindy. Ah. Uh...
He's 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 wholesome. That voice just cracked. Your <laughs> voice cracked. Lord. He's wholesome. He's a wholesome one. Yeah. Madagascar game <laughs> other than the one on the connect for Doctor Blowhole. Um, have, <laughs> have, 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 uh, I, mem- I remember getting from the library. Uh, Mad- uh Madag- Madagascar um Madagascar cart. Oh yeah, Where, yeah, like, like DreamWorks cart. cart. There was, you know, it was a specific Madagascar cart. I think there was like, I think there was like Poe as like a bonus character or something. I forget. Weird, weird. Everyone wanted to be Mario Kart Wii. Well, I mean, it makes sense. How? Well, I mean, Mario it's Kart was plain. a big game. Every everyone wanted to rip it off because the Wii was so even, accessible. Even Ben Ten ripped it off. Who didn't All rip the... off Mario Kart? Okay. In oh, the we are ben literally ten... developing a let's talk about Mario Kart, like a let's talk about go kart racing game right now as we speak. I'm literally coding it right now. Listen to it. We're gonna we're right gonna now. Be, we're not gonna I top Racing Ryan, Ryan, but we're gonna be up there. It's just it's like how Ryan that Ryan game had like that weird like Ryan picture of him like dead. It's gonna be that, but it's just gonna be pop. It's gonna be there like, was a Madagascar just, like, game on the GameCube. Yeah. Yeah. I had. Let me read off what I... How how is it? I also your, had the new game on Game Boy Advance. I grew up with both of them. Give give your Ooh. review of both of them. Not bad. That's a good review. You know the graphics aren't that <clears throat> bad considering it's a GameCube game. I'm gonna read off what I said. Have, uh, like games have good graphics. What are you talking about? I'm gonna read off I mean, what I I'm said in saying, the chat. When I, I mean, you know, it just looks amazing. Okay. I'm and just saying, like, the, and it hasn't <laughs> aged bad. F E F colon. That's not a colon. That's a semicolon. Nezen pissing gun wedge bracket bracket zero bracket World War Three. Or just W3. Hmm. Neat. Neat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. Anyway, oh, that, that doesn't look half bad. So that's on the GameCube? That doesn't look bad. For a licensed game on the GameCube, that doesn't look bad. That look, he looks like he's the character uh-huh. in the movie. At least, you know? Somehow, uh-huh. somehow, somehow. Okay. The best licensed game of all time is Cars. Don't even at me on that one. That is... What about it's like, Simpsons it's Hit and Run? Like... Okay, so there's two really good licensed games, right? <laughs> what about Battle for Bikini Bottom? Okay, so there's three really good licensed games, right? What about okay. Spider-Man 2? Okay, so there's three... Li- <laughs> <laughs> no, well, okay, but... What about Snake King? King? Okay, there's, there's good licensed games, okay? Okay, so Cars is a really good license game, okay? So, <laughs> Rabbids the best go... because it... I swear to God. <laughs> Rabbids Go Home had a thing with Capri Sun, so is that a license? You guys remember being at like a tar you guys remember being at like a target and then you like you're like looking at the bags during school time, like back to school time. And and you look at the and you look at this like this array of backpacks. And then there's just one made out of Capri Sun pouches for no apparent reason. No, Dude, no, I, don't, I, don't, wanted I wanted that one. one. I wanted like that. This, there was like an ad for TerraCycle where it's like, Capri Sun, what do you do when the fun is done? With Capri Sun, you can upcycle and use empty Capri Sun packs to make them into something new again. Upcycle. Respect the pouch. Respect the planet. I miss, I miss those. I miss respect the pouch. I miss those. I miss, I miss when, based on it. I miss when commercials were fun. <laughs> yeah, now they're just like. Now, I remember when they were like, "New Frost Mini Weeds. They're extra sugary and extra fun now just for now you." It's just, now it's just now, now it's just new now, frosted now, mini weeds. No, no, it's more like new frosted mini weeds. So good, so delicious, and zero calories and no gluten. They're perfect for breakfast. Then you the eat them. Like, oh, suck. They, re- you know, they they made they made them cartoons, but have you seen the new Toucan Sam? Oh, his <laughs> oh, his mouth go, his mouth go, his mouth isn't even attached to his beak. That's not how birds that, work. That's not birds. <laughs> no, like 
Like, the only fun commercials now are, like, car dealerships and local places. Like, the only... The only ads I can think of that radiate that classic style are just the Cinnamon Toast Crunch ads. Yeah, but now they're cartoons. You don't... They were cartoons before! Um, yeah, but they were off topic. This is completely off topic. Uh, this is completely off, to- off topic. But I was discussing this with a friend in a group in a um, in a group chat. Um, do you guys remember Clear Pepsi? That yeah, I saw the ago. re-release of it. I tried uh, it, and it was amazing. It was it was amazing. It's just Pepsi, but clear. But like, it's amazing. Yeah, but it has a it has a subtle different taste. Oh, it's Crystal it, Pepsi. I have a question. I have a question. This is what? important. What? In the future, can we buy a box of hugs? Please. Of, of what? Oh, hugs. fruit hugs. They're like the little the little barrels full of juice. Oh, oh yeah. Them. Okay, now I know what you mean. Okay. And you put po- and you the poke barrels, a hole okay. in it like with your teeth and go like, <laughs> you know. No matter how <laughs> you old remember? you were, those no, no, things no, no, no. would make quench your thirst in a no, no, no. The best juice was the ones that had like the little, the weird like I don't know if you I don't know what they're called, but like the weird like cap on them. And Monto like, really bug juice. I don't know. It had like, the weird cap. No, not bug juice. Bug juice is really good. Um, I'll look up the you name. Kool Aid bursts. I think that might be it. Yes, Kool Aid bursts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Kool Aid bursts. Yeah, that's the best one. That's the best drink. Out. That's the best fruit drink. I used to drink those, and I used to see the you could cut off the uh, Kool Aid Man on the label or whatever. They oh encourage boy. you to do that so that you could take pictures of them or like put them on your wall. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a call. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a call out post to Bustle. Uh, 14 drinks from the 90s. Sure. We we'd hope we, um we find in our fridge or whatever whatever it is, uh, or our lunch boxes. Kool Aid. What do they mean 90s with the Kool-Aid bursts? That is literally like from the 2000s pretty much. Oh my god, I hate, I hate, I hate 90s Late kids 90s. so much. Not... <laughs> hey, Capri, Capri Sun! I'm looking at this list. Hold on. Squeeze it. That's probably like 90s. Oh wait, Yeah, no, squeeze it, it is 90s. Right, so that... I think but... they got rid of that 2002. <laughs> We're get, we're get, we're getting to, 2001, we're getting, it says. We're, we're getting two thousand nostalgia now. Like Okay. A new Shark Born Lava Girl, but they're probably barely gonna be in it, but it's on Netflix, so we probably won't watch it. <laughs> okay. Well I mean, they're bringing back Dunkaroos. Oh my what? god, I hate this. Okay, Capri, they brought Capri back Sun. Dunkaroos. I see. I don't know what that is. They were like little Okay, cookies I'm trying to read off the list, woman. Okay, okay. Yeah, Dunkaroos, I've never had them, I've seen them. Okay, Capri Sun, High C, right? Boku. What that is, but it sounds like Roku. Clearly Canadian, oh, that's clearly not... I'm trying to see kool Burst, I'm, I'm just reading off the ones that are like 2000s as well. Yuhu. I had Yuhu the other day, because they're really good. Juicy Juice, literally saw ads all the time on PBS. Literally saw ads all the time for Juicy Juice on PBS Kids. Because there's always like, today's episode is sponsored by Juicy <laughs> Juice. I was going to say it. Oh, say it. Hawaiian Punch, the little surfer dude. Oh, you know something about Hawaiian Punch? You could, you could freeze Hawaiian Punch, and it would still taste warm. Yeah, yeah. What is up with that? What is up with that? You know, so you know. Hawaiian you know Punch what? was like that one drink. It doesn't matter how long you put it in the fridge. Arizona that iced still tea tastes hot. You know, you know what I hate? Hawaiian Punch. I hate them. I hate like the new, the new version of the Hawaiian Punch guy. What do you Arizona new? He's been that way for years the... now. Yeah, but these he's are a all new one. things I. I went the black and white one. Well, I never had. I never. I don't so. I don't like tea, so I never had um Arizona tea. But everything else, pretty much, except for the ones I never heard of, I had growing up. In I was born in two thousand one. So yeah. Yes, B- Bustle. You um, you Bustle. You're you as old are... as the GameCube. Uh, I, yes. I'm not gonna, okay, I see who I see. I see who wrote this article. 
but I'm not going to say their name because I don't want to dox them, even though it's literally okay, on, so on it's... the ad, but whatever. So, <laughs> but still, 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 still. Freaking, you're, 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 you're dumb person. <laughs> I'm kidding. And, but still, like, that's not, that's not all 90s things. That's all, like, 2000s. If Pop-Tarts wants to hop on the uh, nostalgia bandwagon, give us the crazy good ads again. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Do it, you cowards. You already know, I once did you already know what I'm about to say. I once paper about them. You already know what I'm about to say. <laughs> what should come back? Uh, um, Kellogg's, please. I will shut up about cereal straws when Kellogg's brings them back. Until then, I'm not shutting up about them. I guess I you're never shut up. I want hey, hey, them back. Remember, remember, uh, <laughs> strawberry milkshake pop tarts were taken off the shelves for like six years until the internet was like kept badgering them about it, and eventually they were like, <laughs> "What were they like?" <laughs> like what? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I was rudely interrupted by a intru. <laughs> All right. There's a burglar well, in his house. Until Gundy comes back. You guys remember that one bunny that was like on every piece of merchandise that you're like your sister would have, like your older sister. Yeah, would the, have, the, the, one, like, the one bunny that like do the like the peace sign or like the one bunny be turned around have a butt. Yeah, yeah and it'd be like something like it'd be like I hate you, <laughs> things like that. I don't know about that. I'll send a picture. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It's like 2000. I'm just gonna look up 2000s money. Um, so, Gandhi, what were you saying? And so they were eventually saying, you know what? Forget it. Just let them have the strawberry milkshake. Give Why us not? The, they give us oh, the yeah. shake. But the difference is, cereal straws are from 2009. So, by the time this comes out, that's gonna be 12 years ago. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna um, mention this one before I forget to mention it on this podcast. Next year in February, the 3DS is 10 years old. And I don't like it's that. Be a decade old in two years. No, <laughs> it's gonna be a decade old in two years. How does that make you no. feel? No, no. <laughs> How is that one for you? <laughs> Toy Story 3. All right, is a all right. Old. I think I've two. Is a decade, I think I've got a decade, and and a year old. 11 years. Over a decade. Yes. Alright, I Couldn't think, think I've muffled it. my audio so that my uh, sister doesn't shout at if, me again. If we, ever, if we ever get popular enough to do shirts, I want the shirts to be us, but it's like gangster designs. You know? <laughs> like, the, oh, like, like, a sponge, like a Spongebob and Bugs Bunny one. <laughs> yeah, I want that. I want that to be our design. <laughs> so we ever do, we ever do merch, that. we genuinely just make them like, two, like 2000 style things. Yeah. Like, like hand prints, yeah, like hand prints, you know. <laughs> I don't know why hand prints is just like such like specifically the year two thousand five, like different colored hand prints. It's specifically two thousand five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that year, no other years. Just two thousand five. <laughs> so um. I need some other 2000s topics. <laughs> Do you guys remember? Okay, I didn't have anything to say. I was just trying. To... I was really hoping I would come up with something. Oh, dang. <laughs> let's look up 2000s foods. So, um, what do you? Okay, so Madagascar. Let's talk about Oreo that, cakesters. You know? Oreo cakester. I never had those. This sounds good. They were like they were like snack cakes with Oreo cream and um. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, what are they called? Like, what are they called? What are they, they called? Grips. I think a like, grips. Oh, um, Grips, I love them so much. Oh, ooh, ouch, bubblegum. I remember that. Ouch, bubblegum. Oh, my God, it hurts. Oh, my God. It's, 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 um, you know, the gum that was like band aids? Looked like band aids? Yeah, oh yeah. God. Oh, my God, that stuff was good. I picked but, um, that stuff over Grips... a, uh, I once picked that over a Bakugan because, uh, my dad wanted to get us something. I'm like, I don't want to be greedy. He's like, come on, pick something. I picked out bubblegum. Yeah. And they came out they came in like a little tin too. Oh, kinda missed those. Um 
So what I was saying with grips, they still make grips. I got, I was like looking at one night and I saw on Walmart's website, um, grips, and I was like, oh! so next time we, like the, I think it was like the next day, me and my mom we were at Walmart and I, 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 I like went on my Walmart app and like look at why all they're in. I'm like, <laughs> and I grabbed them and I was so happy and they tasted just as amazing as I remember them being. The the so the bunnies that's, are called are story. called the bunnies you're talking about are called happy bunny. Oh yeah, Every, like everyone's like cousin would have a poster of that. <laughs> yeah, that's such a like everyone's specific, sister but yet true had thing. them. Um, I remember when my sister, like when Justin Bieber was a big thing. I remember from her room, you, she had like a big speaker, so you just hear muffle like baby, baby, baby ah, from her room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my sister had a Justin Bieber book. Oh my god! I remember that, but I don't remember it. I think I remember ads for that. Twistables? Fruit Twistables? Yeah. That looks so familiar. Fruit I'm going to send a picture in the, the chat. Twist. It had, the, it had oh. the cartoons with the... It had the cartoons with the twisted guy. And there was Do like a remember... fat orange. You guys remember Yogos? Like the little balls of yogurt? Or, Didn't they do like a crossover thing with Yogos and Ego? I might be thinking. I don't know. You have something else. I, I am thinking of something else because I still see these. It, it, it got, they come in like little tubs and they're like really good and like oh my god now I gotta, now I gotta go to Safeway. I'm so I am no so knows, mad. No one's gonna know what a Safeway is. That's listening right now. Unless you live <laughs> in my general area. In the they Pacific discontinued Northwest. Trix Yog. They discontinued Trix Yogurt and I didn't even know it existed. Oh, yeah, about Chick Sawyer. Chick Sawyer, yeah. <laughs> That's completely spaced out there. Did you guys ever have kids' cuisine? A kid? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I grew up, and then I, after like, I grew up, I would, I, would, I, would, I would eat, like, the, um, the mac and cheese, and I thought, like, wow, this is really great. Then I had it again, and I'm like, oh. oh had oh, what? Oh, 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 my God. Kids' cuisine, mac and cheese. He was just straight up terrible. Okay. And I switch, and then I switched to the fried chicken. And I was like, "Wow, this is really good." And then all of a sudden, I just like, "Oh, oh, okay, That's not that good." I miss the Tombstone frozen pizzas but that came in like the red TV, bag. TV dinner brownies. I love TV dinner brownies. I don't know why. Oh, they're really good. Those are those are really like, good. Remember the little Tombstone pizzas that were in the red bag? They had like a bread tie on them. The Giorno the, is literally uh, the best. The Giorno is literally the best pizza I've ever had. You guys remember? You guys remember the smiley face? The smiley face fries that always tasted like freezer burn. <laughs> I've never ate them they all... because they made me uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, you guys can't be eating food without a plate. So you know what kind of plate? Swallow you need? them whole. You need a zoo pal. You need zoo pals. Rabbit noise, rabbit oh, noise, soup pals. <laughs> rabbit <laughs> noise, soup pals. Wolf, wolf, soup I saw pals. an old video on YouTube back in the day of some guy ranting about the soup pals. <laughs> saying that they were so boring. <laughs> oh, God, oh, the yeah, pals. Um, the last... It was amazing. Oh. We were watching on YouTube for some reason. We were watching, like, the show, like, like the Grey's Cheapskates or whatever. Like a documentary, Me. like a, like a, a rowdy show of people of people that like would just want yeah, to say with much as possible. Some guy uh, grabbed just... a bag of popcorn out of the trash, cleaned it up, and uh, there was got just a one free guy. refill. This one guy, he had like he had like two or three roommates. They had they had to um, drink out of reused um, like yo play yogurt cups. <laughs> but <laughs> the one thing that that caught my eye was. They didn't use any paper. How to use any paper plates? They were just they were using Zoo Pals. It's like these were left <laughs> over from from my from my nephew's uh, birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I love the that. Last I, the last thing I saw Zoo Pals was um, utensils that they had like plastic utensils at like Walmart at like the checkout, and we I saw them. I'm like, oh, and I got them. We might I was have so we, excited. I saw an family. eBay listing for Arthur Zoo I Pals think- for eight hundred bucks. My family are my entire fa- my entirety of my family is like we're all mild hoarders, so I'm sure we uh, we have one of those utensils somewhere in our in our vast array of utensils. You guys remember the brownies that you would get? 
with like the little sprinkles inside and they come up with the little plastic. Oh god, those are I love those. Cosmic brownies. I think so, I think so, yeah. I think they're from a the little Debbie actually. Yeah, yeah. There's like this one little um, Debbie snack cake that messes with my head because I can only find it at gas stations. That oh it's a chocolate chip cream pie. You know what? You know what? You know what? Think people were like, "Oh, that's so good," but I hated what moon pies. What? <laughs> that, those hated, are good. Take up. I hated moon, what you I hated moon pies so much. You want, so you want to make a moon pie taste really good, really, really good. My so boy, right? Take a bite out of it and then dunk it in milk. Huh. Really good. What are you talking? Heck, <laughs> here in Georgia, we have a phrase: RC colon a moon pie. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember when yeah, tricks went from shapes to being circles? Like and then they changed home? it back. I I remembered the commercial of I cannot find it on YouTube I, anywhere. I please someone give me this commercial. Deem it to me on Twitter at hateskit underscore or just comment a link on this video or something. Please, I need to find this commercial. It's the tricks rabbit, you know, and he's like going to, into like he goes into like they're like trying to get his tricks right or he's trying to get the tricks or something and he goes into like a little spacing and you see him they go woo woo and like they spin you around you know <laughs> you know be spinning you and he was spinning around with the uh tricks tricks and then they turn into balls the dude balls. dude i saw that on tv missed those days uh if only and i vcr'd tricks... it pop pop Earlier in the in this recording, um, he said, he said that Trix had had yogurt. They did have yogurt, but it's gone. It's yeah. Gone. I had I had no idea. I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Did you never go to the yogurt aisle? Pop, you didn't buy it. Pop, you didn't buy it. That's why they. That's why there's no more. You single handedly killed the entire no, Trix yogurt industry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. We will have to <laughs> sacrifice him to the fossa. <gasps> oh my god! I remember these two. <laughs> Do you guys remember um stack? Do you guys remember stackers? <laughs> Do you guys remember stackers? <laughs> like they're like fruit roll up dots, uh, and they were they're stackable. Stackers, those boxes stackers. stackers. I don't remember. Th- what the heck is that? Stackers. Yeah, the, there was like a guy who put the stackers on himself. They're like they're called stackers, not. Okay, stickers. I don't know if I, I don't I don't know if I've mentioned this. On the and then he uh, fought the lobby to make them stickers, so he would just mark an eye on all of them. <laughs> commercial, yeah, the, the commercial give you <laughs> that commercial, and there's like okay, this all is... the boxes. <laughs> it's just it's like I don't... the warehouse. Oh, I remember. I, that. Don't... I remember seeing them in the store, and my sister's telling my mom about the commercial because like because they had the marquee on the the marquee the the marker on it. Where are we I don't know. I don't know if I ever mentioned it here, but I have never had a fruit gusher. Ow. You're Ow. you're missing out in life. It's like you are what? It's like what fruit it like? gummy, but it's got juice in it. Really, really good. Man. I've never had one. Is it like like you're it's is it like eating a uh I don't like something that like squirts you I don't know. It's like you're eating. It's like you're eating a fruit snack, and then God, juice God. just pops up. I don't know. Ooh, ghost no hearts! To... I remember those. There's, there's no way to uh, describe a, a gusher without it sounding suggestive. So, goat hearts. They remember... were like a pop tart okay, in the shape so of a bar. You bite down onto it, and it squirts in your mouth, and that's all I know. And that there's no way to make it sound <laughs> not wrong. Um, do you guys remember the you guys remember marshmallows, but they were like rainbow and then they were like fruity? Gay marshmallows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were so good. I remember seeing big yeah. ones, right? I remember seeing big ones before. But like I I never could find them in the store. They were always tiny. <laughs> also, 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 okay. As a kid at daycare, a teacher made like marshmallow popcorn. They basically took stay puffed and put it into the popcorn, right? And I thought they got it out, straight out of a bag, right? Stay puffed. I thought that was a mo- different Ghostbusters. Oh no, wait. I'm thinking jet puffed or whatever. 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 Jet puffed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they put that in there, and made marshmallow popcorn. And I swear, as a kid, I thought that the teacher got it out that straight out of a bag. Like it was marshmallow popcorn in a bag. So 
for years. Every time we went to the store, I would check for marshmallow popcorn. You never could so find sad. it. <laughs> and my mom was like, you the know what? I can just time. make that for you. I'm like, no, 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 no. It has to be out of a bag. It has to be out of a bag. <laughs> and, then I, and then I also remember um, <laughs> I saw an ad on Facebook when I was probably like 12 or 13 for, 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 um, uh, what's it called? What is it? Butterfinger ice cream. And I just thought it was crazy because I never saw it at the stores. I'm like, oh man, I really want to try that because I was I'm really into big Butterfingers at the time for some reason. I was like, oh man, I want to try that. I'm looking everywhere, looking at the store, I'm looking at the ice cream section, looking, cannot looking, find looking, it. Looking, years, looking years go by. I was probably like, I think it was probably about last year or so when I saw it at the store. I was like, oh, I'm not crazy. It's real. <laughs> so, it do move. So that was my hurts. character arc. That was you my want character arc. The one two thousand snack I never understood. What? Go tarts. Like it's a pop tart in a bar. This implies that to me delicious. that somebody cereal bars were amazing. It, it's like if somebody like they didn't cereal straws. <laughs> no, not. Poor God. <laughs> it's like if somebody looked at a pop tart and thought. This is too complicated. So they decided to just make it into a bar. What kind of person can't Ooh. hold a Pop Tart? Okay, but a Pop Tart bar sounds amazing. They only did three flavors, though. They only did strawberry, chocolate fudge, and I think chocolate chip. Or maybe okay, it was but what brown flavors sugar. Do you need? Okay, yeah, if it's brown sugar. Wars. Brown. Brown sugar, s'mores, and hot strawberry. Sunday. Strawberry. Those are like the three to best pop tarts. Pop, you're obsessed with pop tarts. What's your favorite? Oh yeah, cookies and cream, right? Yeah. yeah Oreo. Yeah. Yeah. Or- yeah, but what about wild berry <laughs> pop tarts? Those are awesome. Y'all remember Chef Boy RD and how disgusting it tasted in that can that would follow Chef you home? Chef RD is amazing. I will you- fight. I will fight you right now. And then Chef the Boyer D pizza kits. And I then, remember. Then, well, I'm gonna ask me. I have a story. Oh, wait, I want to. Okay. Wait, let me describe Chef Boyer D cans. Wait, so the, the cans will follow you home, right? And then your mom was like, "Hey, did you? you I told you not to get that. Did you shoplift that?" And you're like, "No, I don't know where this came from." And like, and they just go. Dah, 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 dah. Anyways, pop everything. I remember as a kid, I was like, <laughs> I was like, "Mom, can we get? Can we get? Can we get Chef Boyer D?" And she's like. No, no, and I was like, "Aw!" And then she wasn't looking, so I, t- I, <laughs> like, I was a kid, so something stupid I did. <laughs> I take the can off the shelf, lay it down, and I talk go, go over the talk to the can and go, "That'll get you started." <laughs> 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 I legitimately thought I thought <clears throat> I thought you were going to just describe the commercial. Uh, I wanted to for a second. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta imagine that journey that that can had. Like there was some times I love, that I love that the... car could have run it over. I, lo- I love the video when it gets run over by a car. Just like I can't find that video either. <laughs> I yeah. want to watch it again. I saw it like one time. Maybe look up. Maybe look up parody. You guys remember um, Fig Nougats? What the heck is that? Fig Nooters. <laughs> What up with the fig neuters? (laughs) They all died. Ah. (laughs) Not that I cried. Oh, do you guys remember um those like crackers and then like there was like a little red stick? Yeah, yeah, snack packs. They were like amazing. Tasty snack or whatever. Snack snack pack snack packs pudding. I could have sworn snack pack was also the cheese thing. Let me look it up. Snack pack cheese. I'm afraid of what this is gonna pull up. Oh, no, you're right. Uh, Have I ever oh, steered you wrong? <clears throat> handy snacks. Oh, wait, that's something different. That's um, little sticks of bread. Hands and yeah, snack. yeah, handy those s- bread oh, handy sticks snacks. that didn't taste handy like snack. anything. Handy snacks. Yeah, you were right, Gundy. Or, no, wait. Uh, like, that bre- like the bread sticks were so crunchy, okay. I didn't like them. I have, uh, do you guys know what the best 
as chocolate milk was as a kid. And you can never get... you. Okay. I live you in Washington. Who? Guilty. Yes, but this was more of a rarity. This was more of a delicacy as a kid. I live in Washington, you know, guilty as charged. And so I'd be at Starbucks a lot because, you know, it's Washington. At Seattle, you know, we're just Starbucks everywhere. You can't escape them. So, um, I, this, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read off the name. I'm going to send a picture in the chat. I don't want to have to edit this in. It's Horizon Organic Chocolate Milk. You'd see dude, it at, like, dude, the checkout. I know this. You see it at like the checkout. It was just, oh my god, it was so good. And at Walmart, they sell um, like half gallons of it, but it's like five dollars or something like that, or like like five to seven dollars for the half gallon. Yeah, I can never get it. Oh my god, wait, I could get that now. I have a job. I could pay for it myself. Yeah. <gasps> You have that I, fancy ooh. Adol money. I should do Adol. that. Also, do you guys remember the rainbow cakes you can get at Walmart? I, I think those, they still have them, but those were like really good. They tasted like heartburn. Mmm, heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to describe it, honestly. It's just, oh, it tastes like oh. heartburn. <laughs> oh no, but that is fine. I just found... A fan fiction of Madagascar. It's called Nightmare and Love. Oh dear. I'm gonna read oh, no. the I'm gonna read the introduction. Alex and Marty watch a scary movie and Marty has has a nightmare. What will happen when when Alice goes to comfort him? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is Best Buddies talking all over again. I'm not gonna Can read it. I'll just read the introduction. <laughs> I'm not going for it. It's going to be bad. So, you think we should wrap it up? Wait, I gotta. Maybe. Do you, wait, do you guys remember Uncrustables? Yes, yeah, those are amazing. This is the best peanut butter and jelly I've ever had. They are still around, and I see them all the time at the store. I want, I want, I want them. I gotta buy like Uncrustables. Them, though. Well, do I that. I don't know. Then. Just something about the the taste. It was weird okay. to me. It's like you okay. put bread in the fridge. I I know what we can wrap it. We can end this on. Okay. I there was a Gogurt ad with like that that mocked me. Okay. So as a kid, I would freeze our, my Gogurts. You know, we freeze the Gogurts because it was really good frozen. Oh, the popsicle. Still, it, it, have you ever had a frozen Gogurt? It's amazing. Nope. It's Phenomenal! It's I haven't just, had gogurt in years. Woo, it just it just hits different than normal gogurt, you know. You know go you know gogurt just you'll play right. Oh my god! It's literally the same brand. It's literally the same brand. Anyways, but there was an ad right where you could get in the boxes or like you mail you get like so many boxes you can mail in for a little like a uh, like a cozy for your gogurt when you eat a frozen because you're holding a frozen stick basically, and it would hurt your hand and you get really cold. What I would do is I would use a sock right. And then the ad, it was basically these kids, and they were like really cool because they had the gogurt cozy. And it like turns in, it's like, you know, like the comparison kind of thing. And like every 2000s ad, and it's like this kid just standing there with a sock. He's like, hi guys. And he's like missing a sock on his foot. Like, the camera like hands down, he just sees he's missing a sock. They were mocking me, I think. Why did he? <laughs> Why didn't he just <laughs> grab another sock out of the sock drawer? Specifically, you need one, you need one. So, is that, is that all, all right. you gotta say? Yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna well, notice that Swinot so yeah. just completely disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy! It's loud mm. in his house. So, I'm gonna just say this for him. Uh, uh, wait, no. I just wanna say hello to Swinot. Wait, no. Give me a second, I'm having a stroke. Hold on. I want to thank Snywat for coming onto his podcast today. Uh, you've been, you've glad, been great. glad to be here. You, you're great. Thank you. And you're great, and I like I like you. You're a cool person. I've known you for like four Hope years. Hope I can come back. <laughs> um, what are we watching tomorrow? I forgot. Oh, Sir Sup or not tomorrow? <laughs> I'm so used to stuck. I'm so used to 25 Days of Christmas. <laughs> next week. Next we're, week. It's all right. Okay. We just gotta wean you off it a little. Next week, we're watching Surf's Up.
Um, Nightwatch is talking. I'm gonna. I, I think he's trying to say something. Ah. Oh, he thinks thinks for the kind words. You are welcome, child. I don't know your age. I forgot your age. Whatever. You're welcome, child. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, does someone else want to say? Say the line, say Bart. It? Someone else want to say it? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say Be it. Be kind. No, rewind, and we'll see. Wait, you I'm next the executive time. producer. I'm the executive producer on this show. <laughs> can you swear? Eh, go ahead. You can say it. I give you permission. I, 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 Be I, kind. I, I, rewind. I, we'll no, I said Gendy. No, I said Gendy do it. I said Gendy do it. Hi, I'm Be Gendy. Kind. Be kind. Rewind. Be <laughs> kind. Rewind. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>